Today, I'm playing against the UCLA men's golf team. The winner of this stroke play video will play me in a nine hole match as a part of a new series on the GM Golf Channel coming soon. to come down to the wire. Back with another GM Golf video. Today is a special one. We're gonna be doing a nine hole straight up stroke play. One versus one versus one versus one against the UCLA golf team. Mason was gonna be in this video, but what happened? Uh, I'm injured. Mason is injured. Um, so today we're playing against three of his teammates. I'm Pablo. What's up guys? I'm a freshman, first year, uh, Luke Powell. And I'm Alex. Okay, and I heard you're like what, number six right now? Right now, right number six, yes sir. That's crazy. So today we're doing straight up stroke play, nine holes, one versus one versus one versus one. Let's flip to you so you goes first here. We're gonna get right into it. First hole, straight away par four. Again, straight up stroke play. I don't love my chances, but it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, with 250, it's not gonna go too far, you know, either way. <laughs> Can't get into too much trouble at yeah. 250. Well, well, model code probably on this. I think really? I have the four silver. <laughs> you have the four silver? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It looks like the Dude, these GoPros, plus. I can't lie, these GoPros kind of, they're a little janky sometimes. You like want to start it and then it never starts. All right, and we're off, guys. Um, first tee shot, felt solid, swing feels nice. When's the last time you were able to play? I got to play the whole fall season, which was nice. You're going down, bud. Uh, what? No. Sorry, pal. We're winning. Oh, well, as long as we beat Garrett. <laughs> Beautiful day out here. Sunny SoCal. Got some good food and good people to play with. Got to the course a little late today, so we got to eat in the car. Little Ricky mistake not bringing a speaker, too. A little steak and eggs from the from the restaurant. Hey, we're filming today. That's true. You're just watching. I'm just I'm a spectator. <laughs> You're just vibing. <laughs> I'm vibing. Can't believe Mason's not playing today, dude. Soft, soft guy, big soft guy. Problem is I can't call Mason good good anymore because like now the real good good's here. Oh, perfect. And a sprinkler too. Free job. We hit the fairway here, first hole. Um, we have 104 yards left. 107, Coming down a little bit. I guess I'm hitting like soft 54. I'm trying to get it close to see if we can beat these guys today. Food is elite this morning. Hold on, we gotta film you. <laughs> Luke got excited. That's a little freshman mistake right there, boys. <laughs> it's all good. Also, guys, uh, after this nine hole stroke play, whoever does the best on the UCL team will play me in a 1v1 on the back nine match play. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be the next video on the channel. Getting a little excited over here, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Trying to get ready to go. You know, 103 down the hill out of the rough a little bit. Taking like five feet on this one, guys. A bit more than I expected. Just out of the rough, no spin, but we go drop that one, guys. <laughs> the confidence out of Luke. Those look phenomenal. Absolutely <laughs> great. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> a little wedge. 113 downhill. Shot. Closest to the pin here. Let's roll it in. They are firm and fast today. I am the furthest out. I will say the greens are bent, which I like. I'm used to that. Growing up in Kansas City, that's all we played on. So hopefully I can read these greens right. I think this breaks a good bit to the left. I think I need this one to fall. Oh, good, good oh, holy fast. Whoa. Not sure about these speeds. Gonna try to learn some off Garrett. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I don't know what the speed looks like, but it should be fast and sliding to the right, so. Oh, oh Bobby. They call me Harry Potter. They use the broom. <laughs> I love the broom. After seeing Luke's, I'm now like second guessing this. I feel like it snaps. Mm. Mm. Damn. 
All right, well, a little three putt start. <laughs> Hate to see it, that's tough. Good par, through one, I'm one over. Alex is one under, and the rest of the boys even par. On to the next. A little birdie start, par for Luke. Pop coming out of the gate's hot. We'll guy. take it. It's about the fourth week I've been using the broom, and it is elite. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Par four coming up here. Yeah. Well, Driver, fun. short wedge. Very good oppor uh, bir opportunity for birdie. So uh, we'll see what happens. Whoever wins this stroke play is going to play me in a 1v1 match play on the back nine. That's cool with you. Why do they call you Pop? Uh, my last name's Papiano. Okay. It's just short for that. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> That's a good nickname. We pop. had another Pop on the channel, huh, didn't we? We had a Papa. A papa. We had a Papa, okay, pop. now we got a Pop. <laughs> so, shout out Pop. <laughs> Ball. Ball. Yeah. 152 or 154 playing down 152. I don't really know. After the first hole, after that start, I want to make birdie here. A little comeback. A little comeback on pop over there. No. Kick down the hill, please. I was going to shoot right off that slope. Fortunately, it did not. You want to caddy for me? <laughs> Since you can't do anything else, I might as well. All right, 250. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, left rough, not ideal. Luckily, plenty of green to work with. Um, in, the, in the right angle here, probably a little 60 up there. Might need more than a 60. We're looking <laughs> at like 110 yards, 54 degree. Who played the best in tournaments this year? Luke, nice Luke. Yeah, he finished third in his first event as a freshman at University of Washington. Second event, one shot 17 under, beat Nick Dunlap, USAM champ. I know they, Nick Dunlap. Nick, I know who he is. Nick shot 16 under, and they were going. They were in the final group together. No way. And we were watching. It was like super intense. As a freshman, 17 under is insane. A lot of confidence. Right. Good driver here, middle of the fairway. Maybe a little too close to that back pin. I think the green slope's a little front to back. We might not get the most spin out of it, but let's try to keep it close. Pablo. Pablo's, How did he do? Pablo's from Spain. He played, he played pretty well. It's just Pablo in qualifying this year was super scary. Like, went super deep every time. Played fine in tournaments. I don't think played up to what he wanted to mm -hmm. fully, but I mean, probably like the most consistent player on our team over the past three years. Should be all right. Mm -hmm. Little 70 yard shot here. Never been this far down on this hole before, but we'll take it. Means I'm getting bigger, so. <laughs> And Pop, freshman, was he? Pop's a freshman. He's from Houston. We had really, really competitive qualifying. He shot six under in three rounds uh, to our second event. Right. And missed by one to Omar, who also played really, really well this fall. He's ranked 26th. Shot. A little bit missed, but we'll take it. A little right to left down the hill. This is a slippery putt. These greens are really fast, so got to figure that out. Hopefully, we can uh, at least just get this one close. All right, guys, well, not ideal missing the green from 110 yards, but try to get this chip in or close. Got here with the par and move to the next, par five. Got some meat left on that one. Got a little right to left right here to go two under. Let's see if we can roll it in. <laughs> this one, kind of like same line as Garrett. Um, it's going to be downhill, side into a left, so. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Hey, nice. Good Eight footer tester. Maybe 10 for par. Yeah, well, I tell myself it's shorter. Hmm. Slipped it in. That was a little slider. I didn't see that. I didn't see that break. I really didn't. Hey, Mason's gonna be my caddy today. I should have listened. I didn't see that moving. Oh well, on to the next. Six fourteen. It's it's dog like left though, so yeah. it should be three. Is it reachable? Should be reachable, yeah. Yeah. Apply. Yeah. Oh, 
Bob hasn't learned to not walk in front of the tracer yet. Mm. Have fun with the tracer. <laughs> <laughs> the tracers are gonna be something, yeah. huh? Well, that way, bro. Nice. That's perfect, huh? A little right, that's probably, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's with cool. that bounce. Nice. Perfect. Thank you, ball. Damn. Damn. Tracer. Oh, that was, that was perfect. Let's get a birdie. Pop, Garrett's keeping up with you, dude. Yeah, he is. I smoked that, too. Garrett, keeping up with Pop, huh? Yeah. Or is it, or is it Pop's keeping up with Garrett? <laughs> I don't know. Do you hit it far? Not as much as Mason. For but. 140. <laughs> for 140. <laughs> pound for pound, yeah. Pound for pound. I'm huge. Pound for pound, a, a deep hitter. Okay, so in the rough here, I was in a great drive. Uh, we pushed it up the tee, so have a long shot here in two. It's about three, 310, 300. Let's try to rip through it, see if it gets close, and then make up a number for birdie. What are you eating over there? Steak and eggs. Damn. That sounds horrible. <laughs> so good. That sounds amazing, eggs? actually. Have you never had that? Never had Steak that. and eggs is great. Steak and eggs sounds horrible. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking with about? With biscuit, too, and some potatoes. That's one of the most common breakfast dishes of all time. Dude, I, I'm not with that. Dude, Mace, come on, dude. I don't I don't agree with that. <laughs> Have you never had steak and eggs? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Okay, you've never had steak and eggs, and what's your favorite breakfast dish? How's it not even a thing? Dude, dude, my mom makes like the best French toast. Dude, nobody. How is this guy? No, Jack? Nobody eats steak and eggs. Dude, I don't know. Toast. All he eats is sugar. This man said French <laughs> toast. When I'm not at college, I'm on a great diet. Dude, but you've been at college for five years. You senior, <laughs> super senior. Hey guys, sorry. Someone left a wedge on the last green. Oh, <laughs> that's probably me. <laughs> dude, I'm a little deep here. I thought I hit that good. I like. I have a long way left here, guys. Kind of hit a good one. I think I'm pushing 300 in the green. But uh, we're just gonna try to get a three wood up there, chimp up for birdie, get back to even par. Is there room over there? Well, I got 260. I'm hitting three iron because apparently I can roll one up there. Kind of a blind shot, but I'm trying to play a little bit of a low draw. There's a tree on the right side if we hug that, just the low inside of it. Should be money. That's good. I got about 260 here. A little low draw three irons, the shot I'm looking for, so. Yeah. 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 Not a decent line, we'll have to wait and see. Am I on the hill or I go like over? Oh, it looks like Garrett's long. Uh, you should be just on the hill, or you might have rolled down. Maybe just drive up to the top of it. I think no, I went, might have gone. I'm following the cart signs right now. Uh, I'm living in the rough today, boys. It's kind of rough. That's what they call There's the no pun intended there. <laughs> no pun intended, but like hard to get the spin, and I'm not liking this lie. And oh, we got some work left here. A little lettuce with it, but you know. <laughs> Able to get it kind of close. Okay, so three wood ended up pretty short. We have like 30 yards to the front of the green and then like another 12 or so to the pin. So this green really slopes front to back. So let's try to like blend this like three paces on and just let it release the pin. It's a little short three iron landing in the sand, but we'll take it. Hopefully get up and down for birdie. Oh. oh, that was quick. <laughs> Little right to left. You like 56 degree here, Mason? You do? Holy crap. I thought that needed to get there. Nicely judged. Kind of important play here, guys. You know, we're through three holes, one over par, two back at the leaders, so let's drop this one. Big bird right there. Left edge to just outside with pretty, no, I would say, I would say left edge. It was outside the hole.
That is a missed opportunity right there. Can't be missing those today. Those opportunities I got, got to take advantage of. Big birdie there. Kind of getting some momentum back. Turn on the jets a little bit, pop. We'll take an easy par. Still tied for first, so roll in a few more. Hopefully take the stubs. Medium length par three here, about an eight iron or so. It's over water, right into a mountain, so it's pretty cool. All right, 173, into the wind. Probably playing like 185, 180. Um, Pop's going first. What do we have here? Seven iron. Or seven iron. I got the same. I think that's the play. Uh -oh. I've got seven iron here too. I've been seeing Garrett's balls in the water. Uh, we're trying to keep it on the left. Green's open. Yeah. That's what I should have done, honestly. If you're gonna miss, you just wanna miss way left in this hole. We got 100 yards, we got a 56. I mean, up and down for bogey, bogey the hard way. Come on. Sit, sit, sit. Gotta make a downhill slider for the bogey. I'm unfortunately, I'm kinda like taking myself out of this round right now. We got our hands full, like I said, been living in the rough. But, uh, you know, try to land this one just on the fringe, let it trickle out. How would you describe the rough? Yeah, rough. <laughs> just a rough life, rough <laughs> round. I thought it was gonna be better than that. It's a tough shot. You don't have to make one, guys. Guys. We'll take it. Trying to save par here. Definitely doable. I mean, it's up the hill, break a little left. Then we got it. Yeah. Put it in the front. I got to make this to be a two over. Yeah. Caddy's reinstated. Oh. Caddy's back. Daddy's back. What a bogey, man. <laughs> so apparently I'm the only one who hit the green, but they all made really good saves, so I actually need to make this to take advantage of my tee shot. A couple good saves there. Uh, one for Pop, one from Luke, and one for me. But mine was for bogey, so on to the next. 429 par 4, dog leg right. Pablo up here first. We all have driver in hand. What's the line here? Is that cheap me over there? Uh -huh. uh, in that house, kind of, that's kind of like the middle of the fairway. I did not mean to hit it that low, but it went straight. I've talked to him a good amount about doing stuff. He's, just, he's busy, we're busy. This thing's gonna come down to the wire. Especially the ending holes here, like hole nine guys is just, you know, 240 par three, kind of all over water. water. Like it can get you bad. Like the green has a lot of undulation in it. This course is tricky. You know? Nobody goes like, Super, super deep here. Like it's really? Re it's really hard to shoot like oh, shit, 63, 64. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to screw it. No, it's bad. Huh? 175, playing up to 187. There's some wind up there. These guys back here, over here, they're gonna be short. <laughs> a little soft seven here from 160. So Let's see if we can get a birdie. A little better seven iron than the last hole. One fifty-eight here. Um, it feels feels like the wind's into the, like it's in two, so it should be playing a little longer. And it's also like super uphill, so 
We'll try to get like a low seven over there. Should be on. I like eight iron here, 160 up the hill, playing a lot further. It's kind of a low draw here. Is that green over there? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. He does long. Bad caddying again. Dude. I know. I, you're fired again. <laughs> don't ask him about the green because he, he doesn't know. <laughs> you're fired again. Mason and I were good after the last hole, but I don't know what's going on now. I'll cut this for sure. <laughs> you think I should put it through all that? Absolutely. Sure. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. That's good. That's crazy. All right. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I've gotten fired and rehired twice in four holes. <laughs> this one's a breaker. That's good speed. This is just going to be so fast. Should break a little to the right, but mainly focusing on this on the speed. After the fifth hole, I'm two over. One under, one under, even, two over. Uh, four holes left. I have to make probably three birdies if I want any chance on these last four holes. Par five, birdie opportunity here, 526. You guys mind if I go real quick? Just, just go ahead aim at the bunker. Aim at the what? Aim at the bunker and just don't, don't hit it. Don't hit that straight. Yeah, the bunker's <laughs> just in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, you can nice. right or left. So <laughs> <you'll be> fine. <laughs> okay, so aim at the Pray bunker and, and hope you hit a bad shot. Nice. Perfect. Ooh, oh. Is that fairway? Yeah, yeah, that's fairway. Aimed at the bunker and pulled it. That's literally what you told me the first time I played here. I was like, oh, so what do I do here? Hit at the bunker and don't hit that straight shot. <laughs> Did you hit it in the bunker? Yeah. yeah. That's straight. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Nice. That's tough. No, I missed it. Mason, you hit 93% of your fairways? Pretty close to that, on average for a year. That's absurd. <laughs> 93% fairway stats so is actually when I, crazy. When I told him to hit it to the bunker, I didn't know he hit it that straight. <laughs> so, that was misguided in my Not, not showing it today, though. <laughs> yeah, I've had like like a four-foot like... gap to hit it, not yeah, a bunker. Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, no. Uh, let's keep Cut. leaking. Cut. Keep leaking right. Come on. Oh. oh no. Oh no. <laughs> You're picking up some strokes. Yeah, right I, I like this. I love to see this. Hey, aim at the bunker and Luke hit it dead straight, it okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good ball. Money. Thanks. Just left it up to at least 270. That's bomb. I noticed a little bit of an accent. Where are you from originally? Yeah, so uh, I was born in Madrid, Spain. Okay. I uh, grew up there, lived there until like high school. Okay. And then I moved here for college. What uh, What made you want to come over here for college? So, I feel like in Spain, we just don't play college sports. Okay. This is not a thing. Obviously, as a golfer, I like in the US, there's obviously like the best level in the world. Mm -hmm. Like the best college golfers are here. Pretty much every good college player is here. So I guess I wanted to play with the best. Yeah. And also, UCLA is a really good school, academic-wise. Yeah. So, it was a really big opportunity for me. Was it harder for you to get into a school like UCLA, um, going from Madrid, or...? I guess for me, it was just... Like, I got, what was that process? Like? I got in um, through golf, which okay. I guess it was, like, a little easier. But as a, as a, like, as a normal student, people were, like, really hard time getting in, because UCLA is, like, really hard to get in. Yeah. What did you exactly have to do, though, to get, like, looked at by the coach and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. You obviously got to play gil, like good in the big events in Europe, uh -huh. uh, European Championships, European Team Championships, um, there's a lot of those in Europe and you obviously got to perform well in the right moment. But also I feel like um, coaches look for a really good personality mm -hmm. and uh, if you like show them that you like work hard, that you like have like really good goals and you like are willing to like work hard to achieve them, then I feel like that's also like a really big part for no, coaches. No, absolutely. Now with tournaments growing up and like junior golf and stuff like that, Yeah. Did you have a successful junior career? Obviously, yeah. you had to. Yeah, I did. Career, I, but like, I did was, you win some tournaments and whatnot? Yeah, I was um, in the under 16 region in Spain. I was uh, top one in the in the country. No way. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's then amazing. My last two years, I couldn't play that much because of COVID, and I got injured. Obviously, college now end goal is it PGA Tour? Is it pro golf? Is uh, that where yeah, you, for sure. Is that where you want to go? I honestly want to play DP World Tour. Yeah. This might not be the 
choice that a lot of people make, but mm. um, I think Spain's a really good country to live in. Yeah. And it's if it's better my personality, I don't really like the U.S. that much. Yeah. Honestly. Fair, fair enough. That's fair um, enough. So I want to play Deep World Tour. Yeah. Yeah. All respect. Congrats, man. That's <laughs> sick. Come on. We're going bald here. We're in the bunker. Not the greatest lie, but we only have 229 of the green, so we're just gonna try to put three iron close to it. All right, you have to explain this shot in Spanish now. In Spanish? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess we're speaking in Spanish now. I just got in the bunker, desde el T. We have 226 meters, which are about 250 yards, more or less. The lie doesn't look very good from here. It looks like you're near the talud. Así que supongo que haremos layup y para luego intentar hacer verde con el tercer golpe. Basically, I think I understood like 85% of that. Okay, okay. basically yeah. what I said is just like the lie doesn't get pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty good. I just like laying up, uh, <coughs> see how I make verde with the, with the third shot. Oh no! Oh, Pablo! Pablo! I guess it, oh no, that was bad. Oh no. That's not what you want to do. 240, probably playing like 260, trying to play like a little bit of a cut with this through it. Should be the right club. Oh yeah. This is kind of nice. Yeah. Better than Pablo. <laughs> you know, pretty much the same shot here as Garrett. It's like 240 in a win. I'm trying to hit a hybrid. Uh, give myself an eagle look. Foot slip. You hate Cheez-Its? The only thing that might be worse than steak and eggs is Cheez-Its. No. What? I'm just like drying your mouth out. These are the craziest hot takes I've ever I heard. Don't, I don't think Cheez-Its. I, I think Cheez-Its are so overrated. Unless you have like, a big old glass of water next Dude, to you. Dude, Cheez-Its are unreal. We, we had these at the house and like, I gotta take them to the course. <laughs> not, bro, not right. <laughs> I love it. with the camera now, huh? Yeah. I'm the new cameraman. What do we got here, Pablo? We're trying to save far here. 112 yards. Fourth shot, so not looking pretty good on this hole, but guys are making birdies, so need to make up and down. Go. 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 Oh, that's coming all the way back. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow, this is not my hole. Oh no. Bro, no. Dude, like it's it's like literally lodged in my windpipe. <laughs> Little 75 yard shot here. Pablo in trouble. This could be time to take advantage of that. Oh! Wow! Oh no! Bye bye. Here, they're kind of opening the door up. Number one, no course management, guys. We love to see this. You wanted to hit it close, I guess. Didn't do it this time. Tough hole for us, Pablo. Two fantastic drives, too. Well, I can't land this on the green. And you can't land it on the sprinklers. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't go for the sprinklers, so who, what is, uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. Caddy Mason. It's gonna be really, really quick. Once it lands, it's also gonna be firm. Everything's running away from you. You're gonna play this like four feet left and just play something up. No way. That was so close to being money. Important shot here, guys. You know, one back of the lead with a couple a couple to play, but they're kind of out of position. Get this up and down for birdie would be really nice. Nice. Nice legs. Very nice. Oh. oh. I thought I had that, dude. <laughs> That looked nice the whole way. Happy to have a top and birdie though. Wouldn't this be the greatest par ever if I make it this? Would be. <laughs> oh. I thought it was breaking a little to the right, but I guess not. Got a good read from Pablo's chip here, so hopefully we can get the speed down, get a little tap and par going, and stay tied for first. Hustle. Hustle. Boys, this one's going to snap, and it's going to be fast. I left myself in a situation that I didn't want, but... That's all right. This absolutely needs to fall. That's wow. absurd. That is absurd. The screens are tricky. If we miss this, you're fine. Where, where's your gut? I, you tell me. I love how I got, like, a caddy. I got, like, everything to help me, and I'm still getting dominated <laughs> right now. Yeah, go for it. 
Wasn't the greatest hole, but still in it. Yeah. Is that a new addition to the bag? It is a new addition. Yeah. <laughs> About four weeks in, okay. we're loving it. Okay. Yeah, you guys are one. You're one. You're one. I'm even. Even. Yeah. I'm. We'll just say that I'm watching at this point. <laughs> I'm out of it. Good ball. Like honestly, dude, like that bunker is toast. Every time I'm in there, I make double or worse. Can you go right of the bunkers and just like play it on the rough? You could, but it's like a five-year. Uh, you have to carry it pretty far. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was good. Why? Oh wow. Oh, oh no. A foot short. I'm gonna hit it as hard as possible. You should do that. Yeah. Oh, oh no. and it rolled back. I thought 305 carry was that driver. I killed it, dude. Try to take it the safe route, boys. Take it left of the bunker. Oh. Yep. That's the safe route. Dave. I meant to do that. So I supposed to zoom in? That's fine. <laughs> you guys have hot chocolate? <laughs> What's up, brother? Um, I'm actually in LA right now. What about you? Owns a what? <laughs> oh, no. Um, not, uh, not that I know of, actually. Hold on. I actually might. I've been to this guy's land. He has so many animals. He literally has zebras. Even if he doesn't have a bull, it would definitely be worth it for you guys to go. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, because we're in Dallas, and we think that would be really good for his vlog. Do you need it today? Uh, yeah, if that's, if that's possible, man, that would be amazing. <laughs> All right, this sounds good. I'll see if I can find you a bull to ride. All right, guys, uh, 158 up the hill, 164 adjusted. Hit an eight iron in here. Try to go in tight. I feel like I have to hit this pretty good to get it there. It's like my normal 175 club, 170 club. So that's what the gold number is. Salim just called me. He needs to find a bull to ride today. Do you know of anybody? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I know about bulls to ride? I can't believe it, dude. Like, I hit it high. I know, but like, 164 eight iron. Up the bunker again. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> don't want to remember what I did in the last hole. Keep it out of the bunker this time. 166 adjusted, so trying to hit like seven iron in there. Should be on the green, so. Redemption. Redemption after the last hole. Got a terrible lie here, so. Try to do the best we can. Left. Yeah. We'll take it out of there. So you're like the bull plug now? <laughs> I guess. Then I called Kendrick to see if we could find a bull, and there's no bull. 182 into the wind. 191 after slope. I got a six iron, trying to play a low draw up there. I don't feel good about the shot, in all honesty, but maybe sometimes good things come out of bad situations. Just give me a pot. Okay, got a pot. That's all we wanted. Maybe we can knock it in. A little pitch here. Not a bad leave given the circumstances from the bunker there. So we'll try to hit a little nipper. It's gonna break hard left. So. Yeah, not bad. After a promising looking second shot, I'm a little short here. A pretty straightforward chip. Yeah, good. It'll work. All right, Mason's on the camera right now. This is a snapper, huh? Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> like, this is a tough putt. Yeah, this is impossible, huh? I mean, like, you see the pin up there? Yeah. I would say more of the base of it, probably like 75% of the way down the pin. <laughs> Bible. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I make the Oh, dude, I just learned how to zoom. <laughs> is it filming, by that's, the way? Is yeah. it a red dot? Yeah, there's a red dot. Oh, I just figured it out. Okay. 
It was a good line. <laughs> it was a great line. Yeah. Oh, oh what a save. Putt. I didn't get that. What a two putt. You didn't get that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, routine par right there. I can take that. <laughs> Pretty chance to get shot from the bunker, honestly. This is going to snap, though, so let's try to hit it with good speed on the high side. Oh, that's good. Good par. Broom. Oh. oh. Nice. nice. Luke with the solo lead now. Pablo even. Pop even as well. I'm two over. I'm kind of out of it, but we have two holes left. You never know. Anything can happen. That was a good save there. That was a nice par. Four oh three, par four. Par four, pretty short. Uh, should give us a pretty chance, honestly. Ball. That was like two fifty two. <laughs> Ball. Do you have a lot of lag in your swing? Oh yeah. So let's say I can tell it's crazy. Yeah, tons Just of lag. How snappy it is. Kind of reminds me of like Tony Fino a little bit. Tony Ish. Fino, I, I get John Rahm a little bit. Yeah, I can see that too. Now that I know how to zoom, this is about to be electric. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, that That's ball's right. gone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Well, that was unfortunate. I've had some pretty bad holes today. That's all right. That's just how golf is sometimes. 167. Uh, 1.3. I think you know there's some wind up there, especially like we felt it on the last hole. You just can't feel it in this little valley. A little nine iron. Try to get one close to make a birdie. Another foot slip, but it's good. Yeah. Go ahead. Damn. We'll get, we'll get a foot slip, you know, every couple holes. <laughs> yeah. It's normal. Good shot. Oh, what a bounce. What a bounce is right. That Thank could be you. really good. Hopefully. Damn. Okay, so 111 here. I think, can't see, but the thing looks tight. So we need to get this close, like birdie. Yeah. A little bit of a snapper right to left, pretty quick. <laughs> so I was fast. Up, I, was up. I need you, Ryder. It went downhill when I took over the camera. <laughs> I fear kind of like the same putt as Garrett. His was a good line, I think. It was just a little too too strong. I'm starting to hit this one with a better pace and should go in. Did Eddie make it through his so fast. Oh my god, dude. Devin was like, it just is all downhill, like both ways somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Like, theirs was definitely downhill. I got a downhill putt. Go in. Go in. Be good. All right, the putting performance on this hole so far has been not good. Nice. Solid four over. Oh my god. Nice. On to the last hole number nine. The next video after this, the winner of this challenge will go against me, nine hole match play. And that will be the first episode of a series that we're coming out with called D1, where I'm gonna go challenge D1 golfers that I know um, on different teams. Obviously episode one will be today, and I'm just gonna keep a running total. Whoever I win and lose, you guys are gonna see on hole nine. All right, Luke, let's see it. This is coming down to it. Hybrid, I think, is the better play here. Pressure. He's nervous. Right? Yeah. It's like the Tiger Woods video games. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hit this really well. That looks brutal. Adrenaline. Yeah, the <laughs> adrenaline's like kicking in. Eh? No, it's not a gift. Oh my god, golf swing. Be money. No. Oh no. It's such a hard time. That was, that was so such good. a big you. Now you're on the down slope. <laughs> no. Yeah, That's tough, dude. Three yards far. Yeah. Yeah. Might have been a movie. That's crazy. This is an impossible <laughs> golf hole right here. After seeing those shots, I think I'm gonna go with four iron. Uh, nothing to lose here. I need to get it close. Be so good. <laughs> Be so good. Go in the hole. Wow. wow. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Oh go my god. Alright, alright. Shot. Thanks. He makes that. There's some pressure. That's to get him to even. Big chip here. Probably one of the toughest chips I could ask for, but we have an opportunity, so. All right, not much to work with here. You know, we're gonna have to hit this like 15 feet and try to make a putt. Little 54 bounce into the hill. You know, two hops, let it just trickle on. Oh, no. Hit the collar. Not an ideal second bounce, but it's all right. This is just, this is for fun to finish with a 39. Sounds a lot better than the 40. Good effort. All right, big fight here, guys. Kind of need to drop this would be nice. Pretty much secure my spot to play Garrett on the next nine. Does he clutch? Does he clutch? Oh, let's go, baby! Yeah. Let's go! Wow. What is going Oh, my. Yeah. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Come on. That's insane. That's insane. Hey, you advance. That just makes putts me. There's no chance anymore, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to make a birdie at least. That was good though. I mean, I, I didn't think you were missing that when you hit it. Shout out to the boys for coming on the channel at UCLA. All their socials will be linked in the description down below. Um, that's episode one out here. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be me versus Luke. And Luke is the sixth ranked, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. And all of college golf. It's insane. So uh, my chances are not great going into it, but stay tuned nonetheless. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Peace.